Hey everyone, in this video we'll do a little bit of math on the following subject. When does a bullet hit the ground? Uh, you would think that uh, a bullet is uh, fired up say from about shoulder height and it's gonna travel in the same line horizontally until it reaches, it reaches its target. Well, in your dreams. As soon as it leaves the uh, barrel of the uh, gun or uh, it works for an arrow as well as soon as the arrow leaves the bowstring it will start dropping down a strict, which is strictly proportionate to the gravitational pull of the earth so uh, the question isn't when does a bullet hit the ground but more like how far from you how far from uh, its initial position will it land so because it will hit the ground question is how far away from you will it be so a realistic trajectory would be that it's uh, dropping it's uh, not a straight line it's a curvature and eventually if the bullet is flying even slower it's gonna hit the ground sometimes even before reaching the uh, target you would uh, imagine it would reach it works the same way with stones whatever you try to uh, <coughs> throw so for this uh, the uh, governing principle isn't how fast the bullet is traveling in this direction the governing principle is uh, not how much the bullet weighs or arrow weighs or uh, the projectile you have in mind weighs the question is what is its height from the ground when it's fired that's what we need and this is gonna be lowercase d for distance okay and this is the distance I mean not this distance that's gonna be another distance but this one because all things fall towards the earth at the same speed regardless of it, of their masses and also regardless of their horizontal speed so if uh, what I'm saying is that if you fire a bullet here it will reach the ground exactly at the same time as uh, this chunk of eraser dropped from the same height if the chunk of eraser hits the ground in half a second your bullet will also hit the ground in half a second it will be a uh, distance away from you though so to calculate uh, first uh, to calculate this distance where it hits the ground it's uh, uppercase D you need to know this lowercase d first the height at which it is fired uh, you're gonna have to measure it say it is uh, 1.3 uh, meters or uh, 4 feet 5 inches or so now I'm gonna do this calculation in metric because 4 feet 5 inches is not the same as 4.5 feet okay 4.5 feet is 4 feet 6 inches okay and don't mess with the feet and inches measurements that's why I'm calculating it in metric with decimal digits so the uh, height of the gun or uh, arrow at which uh, an arrow or a bullet is fired is 1.3 meters and uh, it will hit the ground at this time which is calculated square root twice the distance divided by the gravitational acceleration standard on earth which is 9.8 meters per second square and uh, plugging in that number there into the equation we get time equals square root two times times 1.3 divided by 9.8 and square root the whole thing okay so that's why I did uh, biggie brackets so the time it takes equals let's go I don't know if you can see this square root bracket 
two times one point three divided by nine point eight close the bracket equals zero point five one five seconds zero point five one five seconds now in the zero point five point sorry in the zero point five one five seconds how far will the uh, projectile travel well it depends how fast it is traveling in the first place if the muzzle velocity is uh, uh, I don't know 60 meters per sec we're gonna do one calculation and we're gonna do this one with uh, 200 meter per sec muzzle velocity as well as what the heck uh, 3000 meter per sec muzzle velocity as well and see how far the projectile lands from you uh, what you need to do to get the big distance the capital D just to uh, differentiate from uh, the lowercase d so the distance where it's gonna hit the ground equals speed times time which is very simple uh, there is the uh, all the digits for the time multiplied by 60 equals 31 meters in this case okay and this equation is uh, coming from speed equals distance over time therefore uh, distance equals uh, speed multiplied by times so this is just a uh, grade 8 algebra or so grade 9 I don't know so if the bullet is traveling at 60 meters per sec uh, it will hit the ground at exactly 31 meters from you okay it doesn't matter how much the bullet weighs but it does matter how uh, fast it is traveling it will hit the ground at 31 meters when it's fired horizontally initially if it's traveling at 200 meters per sec it's 200 multiplied by uh, this time here 200 meters per sec multiplied by uh, so many seconds and will give us a distance and the distance will be 0.515 oops I forgot the decimal point 0 0.515 multiplied by 200 103 meters if the bullet is traveling at 200 meters per sec speed it's gonna hit the ground at 100 meters from you that's about 100 yards and if your bullet is traveling at 3000 meters 3000 times 0 0.515 when it's uh, uh, fired at uh, the height of 1.3 meters so it's 3000 times 0 0.515 and there are the numbers equals oops wrong button go back one character there we go it's 1545 meters 1545 meters it's a little shy than a little shy of a mile okay that's how we can calculate when a bullet hits the ground and also how far away from you will it hit the ground have fun guys